Princess Kate won't go to Wimbledon without Prince William's permission. Yikes. This uh, headlines alone is like uh, bringing back to the 18th century or something. Uh, it should be without the doctor's permission, right? Why is so without uh, per uh, William's permission? I don't know, that sounds weird. Well, let me see what Kaiser has to say about that. I, I love uh, Kaiser so cheeky and funny and goofy. I love her. Kaiser from Celebrity. Thanks, Kaiser. Shout out to Kaiser. So, Kaiser wrote, I'm kind of enjoying how the British press has turned this history or this story into a huge crisis. The Princess of Wales is the royal pet patron of Wimbledon, and for several years now she's handled handed out the trophies and runner-ups runner-up plates to the singles finales when kate became royal patron she honestly stopped attending matches as regular as regularly as she once did in recent years she uh, will maybe show up for one center court session during the fortnight before coming to the final well, Kate has not turned out for Wimbledon yet today. It's the second day uh, quarterfinals. And the semifinal matches will be on Thursday and Friday. It feels like everyone was fine with Kate missing the bulk of the tournament, but who will present the trophy if Kate doesn't show up? Has become, has become a five alarm fire in the British tabloids. Never mind what Wimbledon tournament director has already indicated that they probably be uh, asking the Duchess of uh, Gloucester to do it. But now we are being indented with Kate as a thread wife content. Oh, that's freaky. You have to get, yeah, I mean, if if I have to go somewhere and ask need my husband's permission and uh, it's probably in the 60s you know uh, that works but right now my god that's terrible I mean that's ugh. I will said KMA kiss my behind no I'm just you know for respect to my husband I will say hey I'm going over here to let him know not asking his permission is FYI but anyway uh, <clears throat> so this is from the Sun the Sun wrote Princess Kate has stepped back from royal duties in January and is focusing on her health following her career diagnosis but with Wimbledon in full swing royal fans have been wondering if she uh, will make a, an appearance at the championship Former royal butler, oh my god, Paul Burrell shared uh, how Kate uh, knows the world will want to see her but uh, fiercely protective. Prince William will decide whether she's uh, fit enough to attend Wimbledon. Paul told Closer that uh, it is highly unlikely that Kate, who is patron of, uh, patron, how do you pronounce that, of the All England uh, Lawn Tennis Club will attend Wimbledon as she is a huge tennis fan. When why are they listening to Paul Burrell? She's the butler, former butler, who is uh, allegedly stole from Princess Diana. Ugh, I cannot believe he see, uh, people listen to him and I'm reading it too stupid. So however, he claims that the decision uh, will ultimately be down to Princess Prince William. Paul explained, ugh. Shut up, Paul. William controls this household, and William will decide whether she is well enough to do this because he is the one that protect the uh, protects the family. It should be the doctor, not William. William is not the doctor. If the doctor thinks he is uh, fit, she should be able to go. Not asking Prince William for permission. Uh, unbelievable. Firstly, there is no way uh, he's going to subject Kate to intrusion that she can't handle. He's so fierce, fiercely protective. That's nonsense. That's just over, that's just the uh, what do you call that uh, control, in my opinion. Paul continued, with William by her side, Kate said because he will take care of her 
and would never let anyone harm her. I think she trusts William implicitly, and he has the final say. Unbelievable. Shut up, Paul Burrell. I don't know why they ask him about that, and he, I guess he's making money from that. So, and then, uh, <coughs> Selbiji says, uh, Kaiser. Kaiser, Kaiser wrote, there's been a, a streak of this William is controlling narrative throughout the year. We heard that William won't allow Prince Harry anywhere near Kate too, and there has been pre- consistent report reporting that William is blocking access to Kate, uh, that few people in the uh, Wallace's orbit have even spoken, uh, haven't even spoken to uh, her this year. No, does Prince William, Prince William actually order Kate around, and would he order to her to skip Wimbledon? I don't know, but it's a weird story. I know, right? I don't know if Burrell just made up this nonsense or what. <clears throat> and uh, I love the reading the uh, comments from Kaiser. So whatever wrote, this feels like William broadcasting. I'm protective of my wife, but just like Harry is protective of his wife, I do, I do it better. I'm the most protective. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so funny. Uh, whatever, you are so funny. And he's so clueless that he has no idea how it's controlling and how poorly this comes across. I I have... Uh, I, I, no kidding, right? Unbelievable. If this is true, this is so crazy. Unbelievable. I think they're just controlling. And then uh, Libra says... That's not, uh, that's not protective, that's controlling. That's what I said, that's controlling. That's a bunch of BS uh, protective, that's controlling. No wonder he keeps saying that Kate doing fine, because she is doing fine. And uh, I think she's showing up at the uh, tripping of the color because she is, uh, people thought, you know, she's dead or she's, uh, who knows, you know, what happened. But, and then she show up over there is to prove it that Williams didn't do anything to her. And uh, so, so Libra said he's taking away her voice and her ability to decide how, he, how she feels. It's all about how he feels. Exactly. And then Barb Mills, uh, Barb Mills says, uh, this is typical control tactic for an abuser. Yep. Isolate her control where she where she goes, where she, who she sees, does he keep her locked up in the tower? Yeah, you know what? When when I when uh, Cass Peter read about her, and that's what she does. She's uh, staying in this one room. So I don't know. It's uh, freaky to me. Mm-hmm.